Here last month, Mike Huckabee was here on November 7th. Um, those people know Tracy Morgan was here yesterday, and uh, today you've got me. Uh, <laughs> Mike Huckabee, C Cousin Brucey will be here on 1120, and Al Roker is going to be here on December 4th. So it's an incredible amount of people that have been here, very famous, uh, popular celebrities, authors, and Jack Leahy. This poor little guy from Levittown, you know, grew up in the Bronx, and he made it to the same place. Uh, oh, Joe Laurentino was here also, which I will mention in a little while. Um, so I had the opportunity to get here, um, I guess, through a lot of hard work, which is I'm going to describe uh, to some extent in my remarks, as well as a lot of fortitude and persistence. Um, so be able to be with some of those experts. It's also important um, to know the owner of the, the book review, Bobby Klein, and play golf with them, and then it also helps you to get here with the rest of those celebrities. So um, with that, I'd like to, uh, as my good friend Joe Willen knows, I like to have a PAL for every meeting, which is a purpose, an agenda, and a limit. Now, as Joe knows, I'm not so good at limits, uh, but uh, the purpose first of all, is um, really a thank you. Uh, congratulations for the work that, uh, that Chris did, um, and also to thank all of you for being such terrific friends over the years. Uh, so it's really a celebration of a lot of great friends over the years. In terms of the agenda that we'd like to do, uh, Diane Montusi said, I have to talk about why I wrote the book, so I will cover that. Um, then I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what's involved in writing a book. That um, It's an interesting experience. Bob McMillan has written two books, and he's aware. Um, but I'll just give you a little flavor of what's involved, and then I'll talk a little bit about the book, an overview, a little bit of the contents, and then I'd like to read very briefly um, excerpts from three of the chapters to give you a flavor for what I was trying to accomplish. I will sign um, upstairs for you that have purchased the book, and I have messages that I've put in my mind for each of you, so it will be certainly special just for who you are. I forgot, my brother Bob I should introduce. He's, oh, there are three boys in our family. I'm the oldest. Robert Bob is the youngest, a PhD from Cornell and teaches at Stetson University. He has written 10 novels. The latest novel is on Amazon and just finished a book called Authentic Educating, and that also is available. Then we were ready to move forward, and of course my brother goes, wait a minute, you, just when well, you got the book, now you've got to think about how you're marketing it as they're finalizing the manuscript. So he said, well, you need testimonials. I'm like, what's a testimonial? I don't know. I'm not. So he goes, well, you got it. You know a lot of prominent people, you know, go to Steve Forbes and ask him to give you a testimonial. Go, you know, Steve's not going to give me a testimonial. But he kept pressuring me. Yeah, you said you know all these people. Let's see you. <laughs> Let's see you get something. Let me see what you can deliver. <laughs> so I said, all right. So sure enough, I call up Steve's office and I get his secretary, Jackie, and I Later, tell her what I'm doing. He sends me an email and he, and he says, Jack, I hope this will help. I'm going, my God, how can it hurt? You know, could this help? You know. So in the front, he writes, timely, aren't targeted advice and insights from an insightful former banker who never forgot the principles of sound banking. So I said, that was really pretty good. It was written for the CEOs of small and mid-sized companies. It deals with 50 basic concepts, things that I believe business owners should be using in their business. Business owners forgot over the course of the last five years when things were really terrific. Everybody was making a lot of money. People forgot the basics. Money was just rolling. There is a, a subject that I put in was mine the gold because Amy came up with that as we were talking and it's really true that your greatest business comes from your greatest customers and how do you spend time? It's really that. about if you're going to build revenue, it's building a relationship, understanding a need, and then delivering a benefit. And if you do that, you never have to sell a day in your life. So I spend uh, probably five, five pages just talking about that concept. And then persistence drives performance, because I really believe that if you work hard, that you can be successful at anything 
that you want to accomplish. I just read the book Outliers, and I highly recommend, and Joe actually suggested I read it, and I loved it. I had read, read all three of his books, uh, both Tipping Point, um, Blink, and the Outliers, and it really talks about how people are successful in life, and it's amazing things, but one of them is persistence, is working hard, uh, obviously having the right opportunity, and then taking advantage of that. The last then section was preparing for, for sale, of preparing for success or sale is the end game. So how do you get to that point and how do you constantly review your wealth, not only what's in the business but outside the business? How do you invest conservatively? And then how do you plan for succession? How do you think about selling it? How do you turn it over to your children? Or what other means were you going to sell it? And you need to be thinking about that because as there's some gray hairs around here, life goes pretty quick. It's amazing that some of us are where we are at this point. And uh, before you know it, you know, it just blinks by. So you really need to be thinking as a business owner about uh, success. Briefly, the introduction, which will give you a flavor for what I'm trying to accomplish and essentially what I think I've said, a little bit about selling, and then uh, back to basics, which is the, the last chapter. But th this one, I think, summarizes in the introduction what this book is all about. Business owners, financial analysts, money managers, and high-ranking corporate executives agree these are difficult economic times. One renowned business leader said there are, these are uncommon times calling for uncommon solutions. I disagree. There's nothing uncommon, and, and the solution is simple. We need to go back to basics. It is relatively easy to be successful in business when times are good. You can get away with doing less. In a declining economy, however, less can be disastrous to your bottom line, indeed to the survivability of your business. We all know what got us into this mess, banking excesses, lending abuses, government interference, government inaction, monetary policy. You've read it all. Most of us have experienced it as well, some more than others, and it is painful. It's time to move on, time to get past the explanations, the rationales, the excuses. Time to go back to the future, back to the beginning, back to Leahy's basics to manage and grow your business in any economy. Growing a business is really about revenue, and you've got to constantly figure out how you're going to generate that revenue, but it's not about selling in the traditional way. So what I say here is if you've ever had to hang up on an unsolicited, in-your-face phone pitch, walk down at an obnoxious retail sales clerk, despaired of the ignorance of a supposed product specialist or started to nod during a sales presentation, you've had a good idea of what selling is not. You don't ever want to be put in any of the above scenarios, neither do your clients. What is selling then? It's identifying a need, building a relationship, and delivering a benefit. Simple. In the way you're perceived by your clients in the marketplace as a whole, priceless. Your clients need help, not a canned sales pitch. Your clients need to feel you're talking to them about their needs, not trying to force them into your product or service. It's personal, helping them solve their problems, and the way to do it is by asking the right questions. This is the key to successful selling. What I've tried to demonstrate in this book is that if you focus on the concepts in these 50 chapters in a more rigorous and detailed way, you can even be more successful than you've been and reduce the incredible amount of stress that you've endured. This is the very same approach we used to put a man on the moon and the same one that I learned over 33 years of banking. If you use the same focus, you can grow your business to whatever you want it to be. So, um, what a good job. What a writer. What an author. What, what does it say? Website. Well, what would you guess that the website is? Yeah, right, of course. JackLahey.com. JackLahey.com. So, video from uh, Jobline. And we're going to have this on, we'll edit this a little bit, but uh, this, <laughs> this will be on the website. So, www.jacklahey.com. Anybody else have any questions? Have you thought of marketing this to universities and their school of business? Um, actually, I have. Amy uh, Spiros uh, has suggested that. Um, Robert, who is at Stetson University, has suggested it. And, um, and, and I must say, before I wrote the book, I was invited to go down to Stetson, and I spoke to uh, four classes. It was during the time that I had the outline and I was conceptualizing it, and I wanted to t test it out on we're people. Do book signings, up, up, books up front. Books up for sale, up at the front register, and then book signing up front. For okay. Sale. Julianne, thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. I, I really appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you.
Great, so the next one is going to be... Uh, thank you. I was thinking about you the first uh, Monday after Labor Day. <laughs> Good job. Good job. It's about the evening. Where do we take the show on the road to now? <laughs> <laughs>